As a huge Final Fantasy VII fan and a longtime Apex player, I have a lot to say about this Apex event. So let's talk about the good and the bad. Starting off with the positives, the limited time mode overall is extremely fun. Running around and dashing with the sword feels amazing. Fighting another sword wielder can be intense and exhilarating, especially if you are both in limit break, which is the sword's unique ultimate ability. This gives you a movement speed buff and lets you spam the dash and launch your abilities infinitely. The new hop ups for the event are also pretty cool. The red material hop up being my favorite since it lets you summon a soldier nesty that attacks enemies with magic and can sometimes clutch out a kill or two. Pretty funny when they get a kill. There's a couple others like the green materia that sends out a shockwave when you reload an empty weapon, shocking and stunning your enemies, the blue materia that heals you as you damage enemies. This should have been the green one in my opinion since green materials tend to represent healing magic, but that's just me being picky. There's the purple materia that deals random critical damage on random shots, and the yellow materia that marks enemies in their remaining health. Some of the skins for the van are also pretty cool, especially Watson's that is pretty much Yuffie's integrate outfit, which is her in a Moogle hoodie. Surprisingly, Yuffie gets two skins here with Watson and Valkyrie having her classic look. That, however, is where the good stuff pretty much ends. The overall package in the store is pretty meh. I mean, crypto just looks like crypto in black. I don't know what they are doing with Rafe. Is it Tifa? Is it Vincent? What the hell's around her neck? Newcastle skin is okay though. He does kind of look like Barrett a bit. The universal heirloom on the other hand is a good idea since every character can equip the cosmetic, but the price to obtain the sword is absolutely ridiculous. The price of freedom is steep. The sword may have a random chance of being obtained since it isn't the reward for getting all the items. That reward is actually a Sephiroth one wing death box. However, I have yet to see someone get the sword with their first or few event packs, meaning that to get the sword, you probably have to get every single pack. Overall, you will be spending around $320 to $360, which is double the usual event cost, which is around $160. What makes this price even more insane is that 60% of the van items are stickers and hollow sprays. Trust me, Respawn, nobody cares or uses these things. Besides the few Preds and Masters that throw a spray once in a while to show their rank, I never see anyone throwing out hollow sprays in the field. This is literally just to dilute your chances of getting the sword and make you spend more money. Oh, and don't even get me started on the event challenges and their rewards. At first, when I saw that there was some packs that were worth 2100 Meseta, the event's Final Fantasy currency, I thought, okay, cool. You get three free packs just by playing. Nope. These packs are just normal Apex packs. Even worse, there are other Apex packs that you can get with Meseta that cost one sixth of what those other packs cost and they get you the same things. The game won't even let me get the crypto theme one because it says that I already own it. Huh? Overall, the monetization for this event is the biggest FU respawn has ever done to the community. And trust me, they've done a couple. With all that being said, what are your guys' thoughts on the event? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.